Hello everyone, Jopke here and it's time for another mixed media morsel. I believe this is number 15 or maybe 16, I'm not sure, but um, it's about mosaic. Now just the other day I created a page, wait a minute, let me grab it. Nope. I created this page for the Mission Inspiration Challenge and I told you that this was inspired by the program we had here on TV about a British couple who bought a huge castle in France and she found some old wallpapers there and made this awesome design of diamond shapes. If I can manage and figure it out, I will uh, leave a link here on top of the screen. If I don't, uh, I will put a link in the description box to this video, but it's a recent one, so you should be able to find it very quickly if you visit my channel. And even before I made this page, I thought this could be um, also a nice thing to do for the mixed media morsel, as this is uh, of about mosaic. So, and that can be any shape, of course. So, what I did, I cut out these little diamond shapes, and I'm planning to glue them down on this beer coaster. For now, I'm still working on the beer coasters. Um, I'm planning to do all the ones uh, for 2016 on beer coasters and hopefully they will all fit on this ring or uh, otherwise maybe I should pick two rings or something. So beer coasters it is for now as the mixed media morsels for 2016 were appetizers and the ones for 2017, the new ones, are more of a main dishes really. Uh, I just recently learned that and um, so for the new ones I will probably pick up a, a larger surface, maybe a journal or maybe on watercolored paper, I'm not sure yet. But for now, I am planning to do uh, the older ones of 2016 on beer coasters. Uh, also, I'm not sure if I will do them all in order because I uh, really like the first one of 2017 and I can't wait to start on that. But, uh, well, let's see uh, how we go. I will probably um, speed up the video. Uh, I am planning on gessoing this beer coaster, painting this beer coaster and glue down the diamond shapes and then I have to think about what else I can do. So, let's go! So starting with the gesso, uh, these beer coasters are very porous and soak up a lot of moisture so I always, always gesso the beer coaster before I do anything else. And then adding a paint, uh, a layer of paint. This is from Apple Barrel, a yellow acrylic paint, because I thought this color would look nice underneath the little diamond shapes. And then uh, it's a matter of gluing down all these little pieces of diamond shapes. I do that with a Mod Podge. Uh, I cut them all out from different kinds of pattern papers and painted papers. And I actually uh, stopped for a moment and went looking on the internet for a diamond shape cut cutter because uh, that was quite a task but um, I uh, had enough to glue down on my beer coaster 
and I'm making sure that all is stuck down very well with the Mod Podge and try to make a nice pattern of the colors. And once I glue them all down, uh, I will trim the edges, of course, and dry it with my hair dryer. So the morsel assignment is done really with this, but of course I'd like to uh, make it a bit nicer. Um, and I decided to go all the way with a design I saw on Dutch television uh, of the British couple in the castle with the old wallpaper. And um, what she did, because she couldn't make uh, all the diamond shapes match perfectly uh, because she had a round uh, room it was a tower room she added um, a ribbon between all those diamond shapes so what I did I uh, took out some glitter thread I had and made a little cut uh, in the beer coaster uh, with uh, every shape, diamond shape, so uh, and to make a diamond shape ribbon pattern as well. And I uh, taped it on the back to secure the thread. And so the first thing I do now is to glue down my piece of pattern paper on the back side. Normally I do that with um, a glue stick but it's going to be all bumpy uh, with all the thread that is there so I decided on a mud patch and uh, leave it for a while to dry put something heavy on it and hopefully that will work and it did uh, but it was still a bit bumpy but uh, well that doesn't matter all that much and to finish it all uh, off um, I, I had these little gems these little glittery shiny gems so I decided to use them as well I had them in a light purple color and I am gluing down uh, one of those little gems on every point of the diamond shape and I do that with my glue gun because um, well I had to make sure it was all stuck down very well and uh, well here it's done I am adding the prompt for this um, card because these are also my uh, my inspiration prompt cards outlining it with a black Posca pen which I couldn't find so it was in the other um, container um, outlining the prompt and then I am painting the edges with the acrylic paint uh, by Artiste. This is the, uh, I believe it's the, oh I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm going to take a look. It's the Amethyst, a purple color. And that's about it for my mixed media morsel number 15 about mosaic. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and hopefully see you again very soon, guys. Bye bye.